Marty Sissoko and Quincy Garrier will jump it up, and we're underway. Game one of our doubleheader on CBS. And one thing that you're going to see in this game is two teams that play entirely man-to-man. -man. Illinois has actually played seven possessions of zone all year. Don't expect to see any in this game. Malik Hall with the first shot of the game, and Michigan State is on the board. They will play half court. Here's Tyson Walker. What a move to get to the hoop for two. Walker went the whole way and looked great. Well, how about in that game, Andrew? They're up 10. He goes out for three minutes. They're up nine, and uh, Minnesota goes on a 10-0 run. Terrence Shen. They don't want to foul these guys. These guys are one of the best in the nation at getting to the free throw line. Michigan State spent a lot of time on that yesterday. Spin move, Ty Rogers, and the finish on a Saturday afternoon in East Lansing. Here's Marcus Damask. His three's good. You know, he's only shooting 24%. Tyson Walker uses the screen, gets to the free throw line, and knocks down the jumper. Kohler averaging just five minutes per game since coming back from a foot injury in the preseason. Walker left alone, buries it. I know it was so long ago, but this kid transferred from Northeastern and played, obviously, at Michigan State last year. He was tremendous, and he has just gotten better and better. Mateen Cleave celebrating that three. He's here alongside Steve Smith watching this big one against Illinois. From the corner, Coleman Hawkins with the three. The lane is not going to be wide open because Kohler and Cooper, those two big guys, they're not going to create space for you. Hogard off the mark. Rebound. Kohler inside. But they might do that. Michigan State switching like they usually do. Goody from the corner, it's good. And Goody 0 for 6 in the last game. Good sign there for the Illini. He's their best three-point shooter. They need to have him going. He gives him a big lift off the bench. 38% from deep this year. See, look how they're playing Cooper. They're not playing. You see Hawkins, he's in the lane, standing there waiting. Hogar, nice move to get free. Harmon thought about a three, now over to Hawkins. Harmon will launch this one and make it. And Justin Harmon just two for his last 11 threes. So Ty Rogers gets that rebound, he brings it down, and he makes a layup. This is what they do. Domas is going to try and back him down. Draws the double team, locates Harmon. They swing it around to Hawkins. Another three. Do a good job. Once they pass out of that double team, obviously somebody has to be open. That time, Coleman Hawkins. Just nine minutes, but six points and three rebounds. He's a good player. Steal by Hogarth. Coast to coast for two. For Michigan State. Well, the one thing you never want to do is cross right in front of a guy when he's got his hand down. We used to always teach our guys to play defense like that. Aiken's still very quiet in this one. 0 for 2. You know, they need to give Malik Hall a touch maybe on the low post. Here's Aikens with the scoop left hand. Shannon turnaround, yes. Here they come the other way. Lightning fast. Shannon all the way wow. for 2. And that's what he's in, and that's what Tom Izzo said. He's like a runaway freight train. Shannon, long two oh. is good. He's eating up already a dozen for Terrence Shannon. Malik Hall able to locate Hogard. Open look, the tip is there for Jackson Kohler, who continues to. Eight points, but all eight early. Hall for three. Yes. There is Kohler again. Hogard up ahead. Walker. Walker right at Goody. Walker all the way. No. Hall with the follow. Getting out in transition. Makes up for not being able to score in a half court. 7-0 run for the Spartans. The mask tied up. Good defense, and Aikens takes it away. That was Kohler again. Kohler coming over because he was going to back him down. Aikens for the lead. Yes! 
Holloman back on the floor with two fouls as well. Well, they're trying to show zone. They are playing a zone, actually, which they have not played once this year. Hall. Usually he's talking he's about his offense, yeah. not his defense. Exactly. <laughs> he was trying to talk about his offense. Nice dish. Akins to Cooper. Let's face it, this zone is getting cut up like Swiss cheese right now. I guess that's what he's doing to protect Hawkins. I'd rather have him sit out and play the regular defense that I normally play, to be honest with you. Great ball movement to Mask. Drives in and lays it in. Oh, that was not good defense. Marcus Damas, the transfer from Southern Illinois, where he's ninth all-time in scoring there and having a all-Big Ten caliber season here. And they're going man. Final 10 seconds. Hogard, there's an opening. Knocked away. Yeah, they came out early, firing from three, and then tried to get to the basket, but that was the problem. Michigan State wouldn't let them. Garrier for three, and right away we're tied at 44. Hawkins calling for it. Has a size advantage over Aikens. Step back jumper is pure. What do you do with that? 6-10. Walker all the way. High off the glass and the foul. Tyson Walker. Now they got the leak hall on Coleman. And Hawkins gets to the hoop. And Walker has it. Walker brings it up ahead. Tyson Walker all the way. When Michigan State gets out in transition, especially in this building, that's when they become really dangerous. Hawkins, bounce pass, tough one for Rodgers. He fields it out to Damask. Not a great offensive team in the game for Michigan State right now. And the shot clock already down to six. Holloman comes to get it. That's a two. It's good. Maybe he should go, you know, he, yeah, I agree. He's got to come out for a couple of minutes. He is on the bench. Hogard back in for two. Goody straight away three. It's good. Midway point of the second half. Hawkins defended by Cooper. Hawkins wins that battle. I'm just a little surprised that they haven't doubled him not once when he's been down there looking to make a play in the low post. Cooper, tough shot off the side of the backboard into mass clears. Harmon on the drive for two. This is the biggest lead of the half for either team. With four to shoot, Holloman gets to the hoop and scores. As we've been telling you throughout the day, this is a critical game for the Spartans. There's not a lot of quad one opportunities Whoa. left for Michigan State as <laughs> Shannon hits another. To clear out the whole side and get that. Damask for three. Big one for the Illini. If we double him, he's killing us with the pass like there. Like Hogarth didn't du double there. He kind of half doubled. Walker right around Goody. Walker takes a bump. Rejected. Good defense by Goody. Looking for a foul call. Doesn't get one. Now five on four the other way. Hawkins trailing the play. Hogarth three. Yes! Hogar drives into the paint, puts up a shot, count it, and one! Coleman Hawkins lets him get by, gets out of position, good shot. Shannon's blocked by Akins! What a great defensive play by Akins. Chat with 2.20 to go. Hall, good move, oh. count it, and one! little bit now he's very good with the bounce for a 6-8 guy good footwork there Aikens has four for Michigan State and a steal Walker takes it away Walker all the way that was a big rebound by Cooper 
Aikens up ahead. They didn't follow him down the floor. Illinois just forgot about Jaden Aikens. Tom Izzo has two timeouts left. Brad Underwood with one. 30 seconds on the clock. Out of the timeout. Hawkins in the corner. No good. Harmon the offensive rebound in the putback. Shannon up ahead. They'll let him go right to the hoop. He misses, and that will do it. Remember this win in March. It's a big one for Michigan State.